If you have a newer-ish vehicle that has a color screen, but no Apple CarPlay and no Android Auto, and you need those features, then stick around for this video. We'll be taking a look at ZZ2's wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto factory integration units. So don't go anywhere. Hey, my name is Josh, I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance, and we'll be taking a look at the ZZ2 Automotive Solutions Wireless CarPlay and Android Auto Factory Add-on Integration Units. Now these are plug and play units and are relatively simple to install. And we'll be taking you to the bay and showing you how to install one of these in a 2017 BMW 3 Series. Now ZZ2 mainly specializes in European vehicles such as Audi, BMW, Porsche, Mercedes, and even Lamborghini. But they have recently released Chevy GM Solutions and are coming out with the Dodge Chrysler Jeep Mopar Solutions very soon. So before we start, let's go ahead and take a look at what's in the box. Okay, so let's check this out. Now this one is the IT3-NBT and this covers a lot of BMWs, all right? But a lot of these are gonna be the same, so we'll just kinda go over it here. So this is your T-harness. So this is gonna go uh, out of the radio. That's gonna unplug from the car and then back into the radio, all right? This is the actual unit. And that's what that looks like. You do have dip switches here on the side and then all your plugs. All right. So this plug here is for the USB. And then you also have rear camera and front camera input. So that's a plus. So if you got a vehicle that doesn't have a rear camera, you can add it to your factory screen. It can also do the front camera. That's excellent as well. For the BMW, this is gonna be your display plug. All right, so that's gonna go in and out. And then you also have the Fakra antenna. Okay, and this is used for the wireless features. All right, so that's like a Wi-Fi antenna. So that's gonna be used for your Apple CarPlay and your Android Auto wireless. And then the next plug here we're gonna talk about, and this you don't necessarily need all the time. Okay, this is not used that often, but if your microphone is not ran behind the radio, you are going to need to take this and extend this off of the plug all the way to the trunk, and that's normally where the microphone would be ran if it's not ran behind the radio. Again, it's not often that this is used, but just in case your Bluetooth mic does not work, this is here to back it up. And then of course you have the instructions. And then there also is a user guide on here with the QR code. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is to take off this panel right here, and that's gonna allow us to get to the monitor. And grab your panel pull popper, and start here at the edge, and pop this loose, okay? And then you're gonna wanna work from the other edge inward, okay? So you've got a couple spots here that are really tight. Okay, so just go slow. All right, so once that's off, now we need to pull the wiring, of course. Okay, so we got two clips here. We got this longer clip, okay? And then in between, we got this clip as well. Okay, so now that comes out. Now we're gonna wanna release the monitor here. So grab your T20 torque, okay? And then we're gonna go ahead and remove these two screws. Okay. And then this will go straight up. So just come straight up with it. And then you have the cable on the back. And it's pretty tight, so you wanna maybe pull it a little bit, rotate slightly. All right. All right, so that's that. Now you have two T20s here on the top. And then on the bottom you got two as well. So pop this off. Take these two off. And then this, just pull off to the side. And then this is gonna come off. And then from here, go ahead and release this cable. I'm just gonna go ahead and set it to the side. All right, now let's go ahead and get the unit. First thing I want to do is run the cable display. So the unit I'm going to put, it's going to be down here. So I'm going to run all my cables down into that area. And then we'll pull the radio out here in a minute. So we obviously want the same end like that, running from the top. So I'm going to pull this down slightly. I think it's going to be easier for me to release the radio first. So let's go ahead and do that. And this is also a T20, so same tool.
Okay, and then from here I have all my cabling, so I'm gonna go ahead and just release everything at this point. So I have an open cavity, and then I can always, and I'm gonna come back and put everything back together here in a minute. And they're all color coded, so that's, makes it easy when you put it back together. So now that we have it all released, put this to the side for a second. We'll go ahead and run our display cable, and that makes it a lot easier. Now I can pull this display cable down. All right, I'm gonna run this one back up. All right, so this is gonna go out. Okay, so we're gonna plug this into the out. And our other display cable is our in. Okay. And that's gonna go into the radio. We'll do that here in a minute. Now I'm gonna take our main harness. This is very simple, just gonna go in and out. Okay, so there's the original harness. in the place okay. and then this goes here into the can side okay okay now we have our USB video input all right I'm gonna plug that in here all right and if I was running a USB I could put this um, in the glove box if I wanted to or whatnot um, there's no real need for me to have it, so I'm just going to go ahead and uh, tie it up and put it in the uh, the dash here. And then you have your uh, front camera and your rear camera, so we're not doing the camera on this right now. We'll leave that in there just so we don't lose it. And then we're going to plug it in our antenna. And that's going to go behind the dash as well. Okay, so before we put this thing all back together, Let's just go ahead and make sure everything works properly. All right, so I'll go ahead and put the display cable back into this display. So we're good. <laughs> okay. Take the radio. Okay, so we could run this USB, and this USB is for uh, the wired CarPlay and the wired Android Auto. Um, so it makes note of that in here. But we're going to go ahead and pair this thing up uh, wirelessly. And it says in here you have to reset the phone. Okay, so it's just a hard reset. So I'm just going to hard re reset this real quick. Looking for something that says CarPlay 8. Okay, so I got it right there. Okay, so now if you look, there is my phone. Okay. And then how I'm going to control this is through the iDrive. Basically, you can scroll, and as you move this around, it moves the cursor around, okay? And then if you want to hit enter, just like if you were touching the screen, you would just touch that, and that would take me to the main menu. And then from here, I can do uh, my phone calls, navigation, my music. So let's try navigation really quick. But before I do that, I do need to go back. I do need to select auxiliary for the vehicle. All right, so I'm going to exit really quick. Okay, so I'm going back into here. I'm going to multimedia. I'm going to external device. And I'm just going to select auxiliary, okay? All right, so now I'm back to my Apple CarPlay and let's play some music. And then we'll go back to the... Uh... Okay, so that's that. Now let's go back. Okay, so now I'm going to test, make sure the microphone works by using Siri. Where would you like to go? The nearest gas station. The nearest one I see is 76 on North Oxnard Boulevard. Let me know if I should call one of them or get directions for you. Okay, cool. So that works. All right, so let's check this out. I saw something that was interesting in the menu. So I'm going to go to exit here. And we've got a couple different other options. So you have Android Auto, AirPlay, Mirror Link, which is dope. I think that'll only work for Android, though. And if you have an iPhone, then use AirPlay to mirror your phone. You have your front camera, USB, and then also YouTube. So let me see how this works out here. So basically you're gonna need Wi-Fi. So whether you're using the Wi-Fi off of your phone to tether, you're gonna be able to watch YouTube. So that's pretty cool. I think that's a cool feature as well. If you're looking at the screen right now, you can see that it is flickering a little bit and that's not the actual unit. I'm looking at it and it's clear as day. It looks really nice. The reason why that's flickering like that is because of the shutter speed on the camera. But when it's in your vehicle, it definitely looks normal. Okay, so another cool thing about this 
is it will allow you to control this from the steering wheel. So as you can see, I am moving the cursor around with my finger. If I press the roll button in, then that is entered. All right, cool. All right, so let's put this thing back together. Okay, so if you're interested in this product for your vehicle, head to our website and enter your year, make, model, and then select factory stereo integration solutions. From there, look for Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Remember, we do have financing available. So if you find your part, add to cart, then pick a financing option, get approved, and we'll send this out to you ASAP. Okay, again, my name is Josh. I'm with Breaker Stereo and Performance. If you like this video or found it useful, make sure to hit that like button. Also, consider subscribing to our channel where we focus on anything that is aftermarket automotive. Again, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.